1.30 in the morning. You were waiting in my hallway. To talk about Gordon. The breath in his yell. The alt in your back when he thinks he is making you finish. So what's his name? A story you've never told another soul. The look of confusion you show him when you wake up the next morning that tells him despite the thousand other men you've awoken beside that he is unique. Could have been anyone. That he has seen you vulnerable and that you cannot live without him. You were happy for a moment and you thought the person standing closest to you was this horse. But it gets easier. Not us. I've been there. We started easy. Now look at us. There's fear and jealousy and revenge, control, and... I don't want to lose you. And I'm not saying that that makes any of this easier or fair. It was awful. But you came so close. He is good that it's not easy. I feel so guilty. I don't know where that came from. I feel toxic with it. and I don't want to feel sad today. I want to... Obviously, I'm in love with you too. I want to kiss you. We can and we will. But... I've been there many times before I found this. Many, many times. How many times? But there is a cost to it. Many. You do understand, you do. It does occur to you, presumably, hopefully, occasionally, that I have feelings too. I'm pretending too. Oh yeah, what are you pretending? I'm not sure I know how to do this at the expense of someone else. To enjoy it. And she looks. You know the worst thing is, she looks up to me. To me, that doesn't really feel like love. You grabbed my hand and you held it up high, and I was like, <gasps> makes you cruel. He's holding my hand. Oh it's... no, you're right. It is. It's love. It's bullshit. Yes. But I, I do love you. No, no, don't. <laughs> no, let's just leave that out there. Is there anything else you would like to add? Uh, no. No, I don't think so. Maybe he's the guy for you, Virginia.